Good morning. Today we're here at Trader Joe's. We're going to go and check out some of the prices, some of the things you guys have asked about, and check the shelves. Let's get to it. So Trader Joe's is a little more pricey than some places, but I got to say, the bananas look pretty good. Plus, they have them 25 cents a piece per banana, so keep that in mind. They have their organic sweet potatoes here, which I've actually tried. They're pretty good. Um, it is $6.49 for five pounds. They've got a lot of potatoes in here. It's good to see. Uh, they've got a three pound uh, russet potatoes for $3.49. Now that is, is that five pounds? Yeah, that's five pounds. $3.49, that ain't too bad. Got some organic yellow potatoes, $3.99 for three pounds. Red potatoes, $3.99 for three pounds. These prices ain't terrible. They have their onions here, yellow onions, $3.69 for two pounds. Uh, yellow onions, $1.19 each right here. So this is two pounds for $3.69, $1.19 per one here. Uh, red onions, $1.19 each. Yellow onions, or white onions, uh, jumbo white onions, these are huge, $1.29 each. Uh, 99 cents a piece for the sweet onions. And I gotta say right off the bat, these look great. We've had a lot of comments over the last few weeks on how produce has looked terrible across the country and how a lot of things are buying a lot of things and it'll be moldy and stuff like that. You know, these mandarins, I gotta say, they don't look all that great. Um, they are $6.99 for five pounds. Um, haven't had any trouble with the cuties, but yeah, these, these don't look all that great. They do have the four pound navel oranges here for $4.99. These are on sale at Kroger this week for $2.47 for four pounds so keep that in mind i gotta say these mandarins look way better now these are two pounds for three dollars and 49 cents so a little more expensive but they look way better than the ones over here that are kind of brown they have their organic navel oranges four pounds for 5.99 these look okay they have their chiquita pineapples i will say these are pretty small and they're 2.99 each 2.99 Probably the smallest mini watermelons that I've seen. $4.99 here, uh, $3.99 for a cantaloupe, and these are really small too. Now, you know, if if they taste better, we've gotten a lot of bad comments on cantaloupe and oranges lately. It's part of the reason why we came to Trader Joe's today is because we've gotten hundreds of comments over the last few weeks that produce has been moldy or rock solid. Peaches has been a big one that has been rock solid everywhere. They do have mangoes here for $1.49 each. Um, boy, these are some huge pomegranates. I don't know how much these are. Okay, $1.99, $2.99. I was going to say, that's these are the pomelos right here for $1.99. The pomegranates are $2.99. Some pretty big ones mixed in here. They have their Honeycrisp apples here. These are tiny, but you know what? Sometimes bigger isn't better. Uh, Honeycrisp apples, $3.49 for two pounds. These kind of look like Michigan style apples here. They're very small. Um, really? I mean, you know, if they're good and delicious, it's better than spending a fortune on bigger apples and them tasting horrible. Now, I haven't had an issue with Honeycrisp, but I have with Gala lately and Red Delicious at Kroger. Uh, and, you know, Myers does look a little better sometimes, but these look pretty good. One thing that I noticed right away here at Trader Joe's is you can smell the apples. You can smell it very, it's very clear, very, uh, got a nice aroma. I like when we're at Kroger or Meyer where you can't smell them at all. Maybe it's because there's a bunch of different smells. I don't really know, but uh, Fuji apples here, 69 cents each. Granny Smith apples, 69 cents each. And $2.99 for the Gala apples, two pounds. You know what? I'm going to try these. I will try one with you guys at the end of this video and let you know what I think. Uh, we don't get to Trader Joe's much, uh, mostly because it's kind of far away. This is for organic too, so yeah, I think, I think we found a winner here. They have these Gala totes of apples here for $4.49. Now someone uh, recommended weighing these. Uh, so that you know that you get, you know, like I can tell right away this one looks like it's more than this one. Now it could be a, you know, this one just feels heavier. So, you know, it might be a good idea to weigh them or just make sure you get the one where you're getting the most for your money. Lots of people have been leaving comments about pears and how expensive or bad they've been lately. Um, 
you know, this is nice right here. They have a rainbow selection of pears, $3.99 for three pounds. We've been seeing pears go for $1.99 a pound, so I don't feel like this is a bad deal at all. Uh, this is like getting a pound for free, really. I gotta say, I love the variety that they have here at Trader Joe's. We've got these baby Dutch yellow potatoes here, $3.79. Um, you know, these are $3.49 for the little small petite potatoes at Kroger's. So I don't feel like this is that terrible of a deal. Good looking red tomatoes here, $1.79 for 24 ounces. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, it's nice that they have these different options. I Look at this. Japanese single sweet potatoes, $1.29 each. I've never had one. Let me know down in the comments if you've ever had a Japanese sweet potato. Stores that I don't shop at a lot. I always look to see where a lot of stuff is missing. This must be really popular right here. This organic fair trade five country espresso blend, $9.99 for this. But yeah, it must be pretty popular because they're selling. And it's funny because it's the decaf. Usually you see the decaf most at the stores. They have a lot of the French roast here. I don't know. Again, let me know down in the comments if you've tried this. We are always getting comments on cold brew coffees. Um, yeah, never seen anything. You know, these are Trader Joe's brands here. So, uh, yeah, I'd like to try some of this some, sometime. Not today, but yeah, they definitely uh, have a lot of different variety. Love variety. And I was wondering why I could smell coffee like crazy right here. Now yeah, this is why. They have a fresh ground coffee machine right here. It's pretty awesome. Don't see these much anymore. Also, they were handing out this peppermint bark here. Uh, it's like a peppermint bark cookie. Uh, it's $2.99 a bag. Let's give it a shot. Okay, so that was so good. I'm deciding to get a bag of these. They are $2.99. I feel that is a very, very fair price. These are delicious. They also have these hams down here. Fully cooked spiral sliced uncured ham. $5.99 a pound, so it's a little pricey. Uh, let's just see, like, so this one right here, yeah, $56.85 for this right here. So that is very expensive. Um, we're always getting good comments on Trader Joe's, though, especially their cheeses. Uh, yeah, they're expensive. They really are, but we get good comments on these. Uh, now, these are 10 ounces, so 10 ounces. Some of them are 12 ounces, so a little more than what you're going to get at Kroger. But again... We've got nothing but good comments on these, so some of them are a little cheaper here, $3.99. And they have the sliced sharp cheddar here, uh, 12 ounces for $4.49. And again, we have a great variety here of different cheeses. This is awesome. Uh, I like how they put, like, from different countries where it's from. Uh, we got the, some from America here. Got some from uh, Great Britain, UK. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. I need to shop at Trader Joe's more. We need to try more of this stuff. Got lots of Italian cheese and, oh, they got the Kerrygold Dubliner cheese. Wow, that's interesting. Right from Ireland, huh? Yeah, Gruyere, Gruyere, however you say that. This is a really neat place. I, I do need to try and come out here more often. I don't know a lot of these products. Uh, some of your favorite products at Trader Joe's, let us know down in the comments. Uh, things that you may know that are a uh, decent price also that is well worth it. I mean, it doesn't have to be, you know, a lot of this stuff, what we get comments on mostly is the quality. You're going to pay a little more, but the quality is fantastic from what we've been told. Some stuff, if you search around, really ain't that bad of a price, too. They have these fresh cranberries, $2.29. These were $2.50 at Kroger for Ocean Spray. Now, Ocean Spray is a good brand. They do have the organic green bell here for $2.99, so a little bit more. Um, got some carrots down here, organic cut and peeled carrots, $1.69 a bag there. You guys who've been watching the channel for a while know that I love mushrooms, and these are about the same prices as what they are everywhere else. Maybe 10, 20 cents more. But look at these mushrooms. They look fantastic. Even the sliced ones, they look fresh. They're not all black, like what you're going to find at like Walmart or somewhere, you know? And, and I do got to say the greens look actually green and not like brown. Uh, they got these broccoli crowns here, $3.29 each. But look at this. 
$3.29 for that. I mean, $1.69 for one little tiny one. Well, this is broccoli. Okay, that's not the broccoli crowns. That is $2.29 each, though. $2.29 for that. That's not bad. As a matter of fact, I don't know. Yeah, this isn't the broccoli crowns either. It doesn't look like they have them. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't feel like that's too bad of a price, and they look fantastic. Had a couple comments on cauliflower lately. I gotta say, these these look pretty good. These look amazing, actually. These are organic cauliflower, $3.49 each. These are similar to the ones that we saw at Aldi. Um, but I'll tell you what, look at this. Look at these organic broccoli. This looks like something you would find at like Whole Foods Market. It is $3.69 for 12 ounces. But if you like your broccoli, I mean, look, that looks good. You know, it looks really good. Broccoli has looked terrible in a lot of places lately. Um, so you got some different bagged salads here, different mixes. You guys know how I feel about bagged lettuce and stuff. I like just cutting up my own. Um, but I got to say, these don't look too bad. These don't look too bad. They don't look bad at all, really. I'm just, I don't know. I don't like buying salad in a bag. I'm just weird like that. I feel like it just has a weird taste to it, like a plasticky taste. Uh, I have, I, you know, I'll buy spinach in a bag every now and then. I feel like it doesn't affect it, but like iceberg lettuce and stuff like that, definitely. Three different kinds of kale here. This is interesting. Got uh, the organic shredded kale for $3.69. Now that is only 10 ounces. That's a little pricey, but they have the Tuscan kale here for $2.79 a bag, and that is 10 ounces as well. So the cabbage seems a little pricey, $2.29, but again, looks very good. They've got the organic beets here. You get a lot of comments on beets. Um, they have these here for $1.79, $1.79, some of the berries, organic blackberries. Now this is 12 ounces, this is double what you're going to get at Kroger for the 6 ounce, obviously. $5.99 for these, $3.99 for the single pack. If you like blackberries, you might as well just get this, save a dollar. Uh, they got some different ones here. Uh, wow, variety is awesome. Medley seedless grapes here, $5.99 for these. These are only two pounds, though. I remember the last time I was at Trader Joe's, somebody was talking about some of their breads that they have. Uh, focaccia bread that you haven't been able to find it. I Because I remember ours, the one that we went, it was in Florida, actually, and it was very low. Um, this is still low. So I don't know if that's an issue. They got the everything ciabatta rolls here, though, that somebody asked about $2.49 for these. And they've got the regular ciabatta rolls here, $1.99. So got to add an extra 50 cents for the everything bagel seasoning. But look at this. They've got their muffins back in. I know when we were in Florida, they didn't have any of these, none. What is this? Apple cranberry tart. Wow, that looks pretty good. Got an apple. Ooh, look at that. Apple tart right here. Uh, let's see, these are $4.49. Yeah, a little pricey on those. Um, $4.99 for these blueberry muffins. Um, I did try these one time. Uh, you know, they're similar to Aldi, but Aldi's is, well, they're $3.99 now. They may have gone up since then, but $4.99 is a little pricey, but they are good. We always get great comments on their bagels. Now, they are a little more expensive than Aldi. I know a lot of people compare Trader Joe's to Aldi when it comes to, like, produce and meat and stuff like that, and bagels. Um, $2.99 for all of them, though, and they have a good variety. They got the little ones here. Somebody asked about these. Uh, well, at Aldi. I don't think they sell them at our Aldi anymore. Um, they've got the sesame bagels here. Um, yeah, and if they're good, you know, I mean, way cheaper than uh, Thomas Bagels right now. $4.79 for a thing of Thomas Bagels at Kroger right now, which is insane. Well, look at this. They actually have it back in. I know we have a couple people that asked about the vegan bri brioche loaf here. Uh, they have this back in. I remember the last two times we've been to Trader Joe's, they have not had this. It is $3.99 a loaf. Glad to see this, though, because I remember uh, trying to point it out for you a while back. They also have the organic whole wheat bread here. This is $2.99. Uh, they got the white bread here. It's $2.99 as well. It seems a little pricey for that, but yeah. Looks like the selection here has gotten a little better as far as some of the breads go since the last time we were here. Swinging back to the coffee area here. Uh, this place is very crowded, so I'm going to have to finagle my way around here. <laughs> They've got the uh, bunch of different coffees I've never heard of before. Uh, yeah, again, let us know, um, you know, if you shop at Trader Joe's, let us know what your favorite coffee is so that maybe we'll try it next time. 
also lots of different teas. It doesn't surprise me that they have the Yogi tea either. That's a very popular tea that is hard to find in a lot of stores. We get comments on that. It is $3.99 uh, for a box of that. And they have some other ones too. Some I've never heard of before. Mostly because they're Trader Joe's brand or their staple. Not really sure, but uh, they got some of the organic green tea that somebody had asked about last time. We did see the same price though. Noticing that a lot of the prices in here are close to the same as what they've been since months ago when we came here so it's good that we're not seeing too crazy of price increase it looks like some of the coffee may have gone up but again our focus today has been produce and trying to find fresh produce because a lot of people have been saying everything they're buying seems like you know you're getting four or five oranges that are molded and nasty or apples that are rock solid or just rotting too quickly you know, and that's kind of what our focus is today. Looks like they have some of their organic milks back in. Now, these are pricey, $5.99 a gallon. Um, but some people were saying a while back that they haven't been in, that Trader Joe's hasn't had them in. So I'll maybe check again. Does look like they're starting to get them back in here. Um, they had them the last time we were here, but they got the whole milk, just Trader Joe's whole milk, $3.69. Still a little pricey for milk around here, but it's good to see they're getting it in, though. And they got their butters here. Trader Joe's butter, salted and unsalted, $3.69. $3.69, that's not a bad deal. Um, we've been, uh, yeah, one pound of butter. Had to check that there real quick. One pound. I mean, we see that Kroger's, their butter in one pound is $4.99. So, yeah, pretty okay price here. So somebody asked if I would check the spaghetti the next time I was at Trader Joe's. Here it is. Now, they never carry too much, but they always seem to have it. I swear, I think they just have it in the back. And as soon as they sell some, they're bringing it back out. Great prices on their spaghetti, though. 99 cents a pound. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's a pound. Um, and 99 cents on a lot of these, actually. Not bad. I don't feel like some of these bean prices are too bad either for organic beans. Uh, $1.09 for each one of these. Got the red kidney beans here. Uh, pinto beans and the great northern beans which some people have had trouble finding so you may want to check out trader joe's for the canned beans we can always find the dry beans they got garbanzo beans here 89 cents organic garbanzo beans 99 cents black beans here 89 cents and only 10 cents more for the organic we've gotten good comments on the trader joe's uh, organic black beans here i don't feel like those prices are too bad at all so I remember a while back, somebody was asking about the Trader Joe's plantain chips, and I could never find them. They have them here, uh, $1.99. It's been a long time since you asked about it, but I saw these there, just thought I'd point that out. Okay, so I'm kind of going crazy here. I want to try some products here. We're going to try the organic yellow corn chips. We're going to try the cassava chips. Uh, the salsa especial and the sour cream spinach dip. If you remember our video from Florida, this is the one I tried. This is fantastic. Uh, I'm going over to my dad's here today for a Thanksgiving meal with him and uh, bringing over some snacks. Now, this is for home. You guys remember, these are like those Terra chips. I really like these. They are $2.99 a bag, so right about the same price for the Terra, but I got to say, these are way better. Um, they're a little thinner. And uh, they taste better. Okay, well, the moment of truth. I have to try that again. That's really good. That apple is the most delicious apple I've had in a long time. It is the organic Gala two pound bag for two ninety nine. That's a dollar fifty a pound. Now, I mean, Kroger's right now is $1.89 a pound for apples that I've been getting that are not great. This is delicious. This is delicious. I'm telling you right now, they're smaller, you know, because for me, it's hard to finish one of those big, huge apples. I like these because they're smaller and I can have it with a snack or anything else really good. Um, haven't Now, you guys know I've tried the, the vegetable chips. Uh, tried those down in Florida. I love those. Those are $2.99 a bag. Uh, well worth it. I feel like the Terra chips, I think they are uh, about $3.49 to even $3.99 a bag now. And I think these taste better. Um, some of the other chips I'm bringing out to dad's. Uh, like I said, we're going to have a big Thanksgiving meal out there with him. Hang out with my brother and family and all that today. With all the hundreds of comments over the last couple months that we've had on just produce being terrible, we've had a few comments 
that Trader Joe's produce is very good. So I wanted to look at some of that today. Uh, over the last week, I swear, we've probably had over 100 comments of how some of your produce has been moldy or just not good. So I wanted to come check out a place where we get a lot of nothing but good comments. So, um, I yeah, if you have a Trader Joe's near you, it's definitely worth checking out. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching the video today. I hope you enjoyed it. With all that being said, I am out. And always remember, the adventure is out there. Thank you.